Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is about a recomp of Majora's Mask. What a recomp is, basically they fed a ROM into uh, a specific program by Mr. Wise Guy. I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. It's right here. It's called the N64 Recomp. And out splurted code. Basically uh, decompiling the whole thing. Yeah. Into C code. Or any platform and this is kind of cool uh he, here's how it works to explain this to you i'm not gonna read this you will be zoomed in and you're going to be reading it because this confuses the hell out of me this is on a technical level that just i don't exist at i play video games that's what i do but there are other recomps there's this one and oh wait that's not one sorry there's this one and I believe there's other ones as well. Uh, if I can find them. There's Banjo-Tooie. Did I just grab Banjo-Tooie? Yes, I did. Great. And I believe there's other ones. Hopefully. I saw a Super Mario uh, one. But I don't know. It may be here. It may not be here. Not Super Mario. Sorry. Superman 64. Not that that game is good or anything. So how do you download this? Well, you go here, you click the Linux one or the Windows one. The Windows, the Linux one is X11 only. It does not work on Wayland. There's a issue open about that. And then you apply your US ROM, which we did already in documents right here. And then what you do is you run this, you select the ROM and uh, you can start the game. But, since I like to have stuff happen, we are going to be launching the game with this so you can see uh, the performance, actually. Here's the thing. There's General, which has which has gyro control, mouse sensitivity, background input, auto saving. Your controls, where you set everything up. Your graphics, where you can basically do their original or auto auto will scale based on the game's windows resolution you can also use down sampling quality original aspect ratio expanded windows full screen original frame rate and then we're actually going to put this up to 170. this uses interpolation and what that means is uh it's going to make a few people sick and i am extremely sensitive to how do i explain this I'm, I'm very sensitive to changes in latency and to things that shouldn't be there when my brain knows it's interpolation i get sick i get like pins and needles in my head because my my brain's it it just feels like something's off and it just doesn't work uh the best example of this is if i played ship of arcanians ocarina of time with our interpolation on set to my refresh rate uh, I'll puke because they do the worst type of interpolation possible. Sound is basically low health beeps on or off. I actually like to turn those off. And then I'm going to move the mouse off the camera, don't off the screen, don't worry. Then we just jump straight in. Now I already have a save. It's auto saved, by the way. You can see the little owl icon. And yeah, here we are. I'm hoping for a field of view changer. Now I have my magic HUD. I already got that. And my C buttons are mapped to the right joystick. I'm hoping we'll have a free camera mode where that's going to be able to do that. And then we'll just map all the items to the D-pad instead. I think that would be much cooler. But a change in field of view is what I definitely want most of all. All right, so I need to go deal with these guys. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Okay, we're going to be getting the code. Now it says with aiming, there is gyro and I can confirm. Boom. So the gyro is working efficiently. Uh, for those who are longtime subscribers of the channel and watch every video, thank you, by the way. Uh, I have changed ASIO input for my audio. And what that means, it's direct audio capture from my interface. 
at 24-bit 192 uh, kilohertz. So lossless audio, and hopefully it sounds just as good. All right. Oh, learned something, by the way. Crap, I missed him. Boom. That's one left, one down. And I believe the other one's over here. All right, that's three. And I'm going to go this way and grab these two. And two left, one's up there. I don't know even how he got up there. Got you. We're going to go through here. Now, I do like this port a lot. I don't like the fact that it uses in circulation because my head's already hurting. And for those who don't really understand turbulation sickness, it's a thing. It's just uh, minor changes, I guess, to latency are just... It just feels so wrong. Got you. All right. So let's see what the code is. No way. No scrubs. All right. So it's five, four, two, three, one, five, four, two, three, one. All right. Let's go deal with the code then. Now, I don't want to play for too long. I just want you to get the hang of that. Everything from start to finish is playable in this port, by the way. So five, four, three, two, oh. Uh, I forgot the code already. Is that bad? I know that's one at the end. Two. Okay, I messed up a digit. There we go. Thank you. Well, while this is honestly the coolest thing that I've seen in a while, and the fact that Orc Arena of Time is coming is kind of cool, I'm hoping that someone decides to do Delta Time instead of Interpolation and have it actually look the way that it should when it comes to proper refresh rate instead of whatever the hell is going on here. Because once you try real 120, on Orc Arena of Time, like with open Orc Arena of Time, nothing else even remotely comes close because this does not feel like 153 FPS. Not by a long shot. It may look super smooth to you, but for me, no, this does not even remotely come close. It doesn't feel as smooth as it would at a higher refresh rate. This just feels like a smoothed out 20. If that makes any sense. We're going to get the moons tier. So if you guys find this cool, it'll be in the description below. You're going to have to provide your own ROM, of course. I don't care where you get it from. Don't ask me. I'm not telling you. Uh, I won't link it to you. So there's that. So the project will be in the description below. You can check it out there. If you have any issues, use GitHub. Don't tell me. I'm not a developer. And, um, I don't know. 
hopefully we'll get mods for this and a texture packs for this and other cool stuff for this that'd be that'd be really really neat i think i'd enjoy that anyway every time you end up getting an object like that uh it will auto save of course so each individual major action gets an auto save which is really cool by the way Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Ow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you didn't know about this and now you do, hit the like button. You know, show your appreciation for me uh, filling you in on the good old news of the world. And there's a huge performance boost in Ragings. I'm going to be covering that in a live stream, I think, because that would be the easiest method. And that's it. Bye, everyone.